What's up, scholars? This is Mr. Seeley. I hope you guys are having a great day. And we're going to get started with another asynchronous lesson. Now, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be talking about instruments, second graders. We're going to be talking about instruments. Now, what I when um, I did a little bit of instrument talking about um, different instruments uh, before break, but I want to break it down because uh, there were some things that I didn't get a chance to teach you guys because of everything that happened last year with quarantine and all that stuff. And there are some things that you need to know being in uh, second grade that I should have taught you in first grade, but I didn't get a chance to. So we're going to focus a little bit on those things. We're going to talk about instruments and the instrument families, okay? We're going to be talking about the instrument families, okay? So I have a video that I actually prepared uh, for you guys for um, a lesson that I did uh, last year. Um, during quarantine that I'm going to show you guys today. Some of you probably haven't seen it. Some of you may know some of the things that we talked about because we talked about it just a little bit, you know, about different instruments and what different things are. But I, Sorry, that's, that's my daughter. Uh, she's fine. She don't, don't worry. But anyway, so we're going to talk about different instruments and uh, things like that. So get ready. I hope you guys enjoy this lesson. And we are going to start off with some songs. We're going to sing a little bit of um, It's All Right, because that's one of our new songs that we're learning. So we're going to sing a little bit of that. And then we're going to get into the instrument lesson that I have for you guys. So you guys get ready. Check it out. to our Rocha to Prep song. Here we go.
scholars so i'm gonna sing a little bit of the song uh it's all right from the movie soul even though we may have listened to it i'm gonna play it on piano and sing it so sing along with me it's all right it's all right it's all right to have a good time because it's all right whoa it's all right i'll sing it again because it's all right it's all right it's all right to have a good time because it's all right whoa it's all right now listen to the beat and kind of pat your feet you got soul and everybody knows that it's all right oh it's all right i'll say it again now listen to the beat and kind of pat your feet you've got soul and everybody knows that it's all right oh it's all right now the next part says when you wake up early in the morning feeling sad like so many others do just hum a little soul, make life your goal, and surely something's got to come to you. I'll sing that again. So the words are, when you wake up early in the morning, feeling sad like so many others do, just hum a little soul, make life your goal, and surely something's got to come to you. Now it's all right. And it's all right It's all right To have a good time Cause it's all right Whoa, it's all right Now the only part that we haven't gone over is Now everybody clap your hands Give yourself a chance That's all You got soul And everybody knows That it's all right Oh, it's all right. Everybody clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Do, 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 do. Give yourself a chance. Yeah, give yourself a chance. You got soul, and everybody knows that it's all right. Whoa, it's all right. I'm going to go back to the part, the change part. When you wake up early in the morning, Feeling sad like so many of us do Just hum a little soul Make life your goal And surely something's gotta come to you And it's all right It's all right It's all right To have a good time Cause it's all right Oh, it's all right. I'm going to sing it high like you sing it. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right to have a good time. Because it's all right. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> okay, Skylars. Now we're going to be talking about something called the four orchestral families say the four orchestral families the four orchestral families like what is what is that i'm glad you asked so i have a lesson that i um that i taught uh last year as i said earlier and i'm going to show you guys that lesson okay where they, we talk about the four orchestral families that's the families that each every each and every instrument you hear belongs to a certain family and we're going to talk about those families today so we're going to be learning about musical instruments one of my favorite things to talk about so check it out Scholars, this is Mr. Seely, and welcome to another edition of Music Class with Mr. Seely. So today, what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about instruments. We're going to be talking about the four orchestral families. Say the four orchestral families. 
Very good. Now, we're talking about the four orchestral families. And we know that the four orchestral families are strings. Everybody say strings. Percussion, say percussion. Brass, say brass. Woodwinds, woodwinds. I'll say that again. Strings, percussion, brass, and woodwinds. Those are the four orchestral families. And we're going to talk about each of those families in depth. We're going to talk about all the instruments that go into each of those families, what the criteria in order to belong to each one of those families, because every instrument has different things about it that make it belong to those families. So we're going to talk about those things. So I want everybody to come over to my screen. And orchestra, now the word orchestral sounds kind of, you know, weird, but the it comes from the word orchestra. Everybody say orchestra. Very good. Now an orchestra is a large group of instruments. Everybody say a large group of instruments. Very good. And all instruments are divided into four families. The first family is called strings. The second family is called percussion. The next family is called brass. And the next family is called woodwinds. And I'm gonna talk about each of those families. Now the string family, everybody say the string family. Very good is any instrument that uses strings to produce sound. So you could probably imagine seeing different instruments that have strings on them or that you play strings or whatever the case. So if you strum it or you pluck the strings or you use a bow to play the strings and they belong to the string family. And we're gonna talk about those instruments in a second. So any instrument that uses strings belongs to the string family. Everybody say the string family. Very good. The next family is the percussion family. Everybody say percussion. That's right, percussion. P-E-R-C-U-S-S-I-O-N. Percussion is any instrument that makes a beat, okay, or a rhythm that you shake, hit with your hands, or if you hit it with sticks or these other things that look like sticks called mallets. Any instrument that you shake that makes a beat or a rhythm that you hit with your hands, the sticks or mallets, those are percussion instruments. And you're probably thinking of instruments right now in your head that belong to that family. That's called the percussion family. We're going to talk about those in a second. Another family is called brass. Everybody say brass. Any instrument that is made of a metal called brass, because brass is a type of metal, okay? Any instrument that is uh, made of brass that you blow into, okay? But there's a certain way that you blow into brass instruments and you use, uh, the sound is produced from the vibration of your lips. So it's not a, there's a different instruments that do that. The vibration of your lips is a, it's like a elephant, you know, blowing his trunk. It's that, that kind of sound. See if you can try and do that sound. I can't do it very well. I'm not a brass instrument player. But that's the, any instrument that produces sound from the vibration of your lips and is made of brass is a brass instrument. So you're probably am thinking of some instruments, if you already know, that belong to that family. And we're going to talk about that in a second. Lastly is the woodwind family. Everybody say woodwind. So any instrument that produces sound using a wooden reed, okay, any instrument that you produce a sound for, that use that uh, produces sound from a wooden reed, so, and there are different instruments. Now I'm gonna show you what a reed looks like. This is a reed. Okay, this is this is what it looks like. So you can see, any instrument that uses a reed belongs to the woodwind family. There are exceptions, and you're probably thinking or imagining different instruments that you've seen before that use a reed. And we're gonna talk about instruments that belong into each of these families in a second. So this is what a reed looks like. This is actually a, uh, sa a saxophone reed, but there are other instruments that use reeds and we're gonna get to that in a second. So let's go back from the top. Strings, any instrument that uses strings to produce sound belongs to the string family. Guitar uses strings, okay? This is an acoustic guitar, it's not tuned. And uh, our next family is the percussion family. Any instrument that you shake, or any instrument that uses r rhythm or that you hit with sticks uh, belongs to the uh, percussion family. The brass family. Any instrument that is made of brass that has produced sound through the vibration of your lips belongs to the brass family. The trombone, the tuba, French horn, those are some very uh, common brass instruments. 
<laughs> last instrument family is the woodwind family. Any instrument that produces sound from the vibration of a reed, any instrument that uses one of these to produce the sound is a, a woodwind instrument. Now there are other woodwind instruments that don't use reeds, such as the flute, uh, the, the recorder, those are different uh, woodwind instruments. They don't use reeds, but there are other instruments that use reeds, such as the saxophone, the clarinet, the oboe. Those are some of the woodwind instruments. I wanna show you guys some pictures and, let, and, play, and play you some examples so you know what each of these instruments look like and what they sound like. Our first instrument here, this is an electric guitar. Everybody say electric guitar. So the electric guitar is a string instrument, say string instrument. Now what's special about the electric guitar is that an electric guitar has six strings on it and it uses electricity in order to work. Now there are electric instruments and there are acoustic instruments. The difference between an electric instrument and an acoustic instrument is that an electric instrument needs electricity in order to produce a sound. Okay, in the electric guitar, uh, in the case of the electric guitar, it uses an amplifier. Everybody say amplifier. So an amplifier is where the sound comes from, okay, in order to be heard. Because if you play an electric guitar on its own, you won't really hear a sound, okay? Now I'm gonna play you the electric guitar, and it sounds like this. Another example of electric guitar. The next instrument that we're going to learn about is the acoustic guitar. Everybody say acoustic guitar. Very good. The acoustic guitar is different from the electric guitar in that you do not need sound or you, I'm sorry, you do not need electricity in order to produce the sound. It produces the sound on its own, just like an acoustic piano and an electric piano. An electric piano needs to be plugged in or it needs batteries or whatever the case. And, but an acoustic piano, like the upright pianos that you see, you know, different places, those don't need electricity. They produce sound on their own. An acoustic guitar produces sound on its own. Now it can be plugged into an amplifier to make it louder, but it doesn't need it. Okay, so I'm gonna play what the acoustic guitar sounds like. Now we're gonna to go to our next string instrument and this is called a violin, say violin. The violin does not have six strings like the acoustic guitar and the electric guitar. It only has four strings on it. And it is played with a bow, okay? That stick that you see in the picture, that is a bow. And that and the, the part of the bow that touches the string is made of uh, horse hair, okay? And it touches the string, and then when you glide it across the string, it, produce, it vibrates the string, which produces a sound. And that's how the violin gets its sound, okay? It's four strings and you hold it like right here. And... So I'm gonna, play, I'm gonna play you what the violin sounds like. This next instrument is called a bass guitar. Say bass guitar. Bass guitar is like an electric guitar, but it's bigger and it has a lower sound. Some bass guitars have four strings, some have five, some have six, okay? Now this is what the, the bass guitar sounds like. funky real funky that's what they call it funky all right the next instrument now we're gonna move away from the string instruments a little bit these are percussion instruments say percussion this instrument is a xylophone now xylophone is a type of pitched say pitched pitch means produces a note or a, or a different different types of notes and sounds unpitched instruments are just you know whoosh, you know like a like a sound with no note but a pitched instrument produces different notes this is a pitched 
or tuned is what they call it. Pitched and unpitched or tuned and untuned, same thing. So this is a tuned percussion instrument and the notes are made of wood. That's why it's called a xylophone. It's different from a vibraphone or a glockenspiel, which are other types of percussion instruments that use mallets. And this is what a xylophone sounds like. All right, now, another percussion instrument is a piano. Say piano. Now, piano, we know what the piano looks like. It has black and white keys. Most grand pianos have 88 keys. The buttons that you press on a, on a piano are called keys. And there are black keys, there are white keys, and so there's a total of 88 keys on a piano. They call it a percussion instrument because of the nature of how it's played. Also, what some people call it, they say that it's a string instrument because if you look on the inside of a piano, you'll see strings there, okay? And each time you press a note or a key, a hammer with a felt tip strikes a string. So some people say it's, you know, it kind of belongs to the percussion and the string family. Is But for now, we're going to say that it's a percussion instrument. And this is what a piano looks and sounds like. Now, another percussion instrument. Remember, percussion instruments are instruments that make beats. The Probably the most common and famous percussion instrument is the drum set. And if you look here, you can see all the different pieces that are labeled. And the drum set, you use sticks to play it. So you don't use your hand, well, you pick up the sticks with your hands, but you don't hit the drum set with your hands, okay? There are percussion instruments that you hit with your hands, such as the, the, the congas or the, the bongos or the jimbe, many, many others, uh, or the maracas that you shake. But the drum set, you hit with sticks. These are some drum sticks right here. And uh, this is what the drum set sounds like. Now, we're gonna to go to brass instruments. Say brass. The brass instrument, is one of the most common brass instruments is the trumpet. Say trumpet. This is what the trumpet looks like. And the way that the trumpet, the buttons that you press on the trumpet are called valves. Okay, say valves. Very good. And you press them and it, and it changes the, the tune of, the changes the pitch of the air that you put into it. And the way that the air, is, the sound is produced is from the vibration of your lips. Now, I'm not a trumpet player, as I said earlier, so I can't do it the way that most trumpet players do it. But um, this is what the trumpet sounds like. Next, we have the tuba. The tuba is a bigger, the bigger the instrument, usually the lower the sound. Not lower as in quiet, lower as in, as opposed to, okay. So the tuba has a lower sound than the trumpet. It's bigger and it produces the sound the same way. And this is what the tuba sounds like. Next, we have the trombone. Trombone. Everybody say trombone. Now, the trombone is different is that it has a slide, okay? It doesn't have, so some trombones do have valves, but the sound is the, you change the pitch of the sound through the, you, you roll into it, and it changes the sound with the slide. So this is what the trombone sounds like. Now we're gonna move on to woodwind instruments. Okay, now this instrument is called a clarinet. Say clarinet. So the way that the sound is produced is you have the reed and you put the reed on top of the mouthpiece. You tighten the mouthpiece with your with the um, 
with you tighten the ligature, sorry, tighten the ligature, and then you blow into it and it produces the sound. Okay, so this is what a clarinet sounds like. You also might remember that this is the instrument that uh, Squidward plays and he plays the clarinet if you watch SpongeBob and all that. This instrument is a flute. It belongs to the woodwind family, just like the clarinet. However, it does not use a reed. It's special in that way. And it's smaller, so it has a higher pitched sound. The sound is produced from the vibration of the air. Okay, so it's different. I don't have a flute, unfortunately, but this is what the flute sounds like. <laughs> This is Mr. Seeley's favorite instrument. This is a saxophone, say saxophone. So a saxophone is made of brass. The saxophone is made of brass, but it does not belong to the brass family. The reason why is the saxophone uses a reed. The saxophone uses a reed, okay? Now, the way that this, uh, this, that's how the sound is produced on the saxophone. So if it uses a reed, it belongs to the woodwind family. Doesn't matter what it's made of. The woodwind does not mean that the instrument is made of wood. That's not what that means. It's just the name that they give to that family because there are all types of wood instruments, woodwind instruments that are made of wood, that are made of plastic, that are made of brass, that are made of nickel. They're like the flute is made of a metal called nickel and brass. And so there are different types of woodwind instruments but the does, wood does not mean that the instrument is made of wood. The wood refers to the reed, okay, because most reeds are made of wood. There are other reeds made of different materials, but woodwind. So saxophone is uh, a woodwind instrument, even though it's made of brass. So don't let the, the way that it looks fool you, because a lot of people get tricked by that. This is what the saxophone looks and sounds like. <laughs> Okay, scholars, so we've gone over the four orchestral families, which are strings, any instrument that is produce, produces sound from the use of strings. We have percussion, any instrument that you shake, hit with your hands or sticks or mallets. We have the brass family, uh, the brass family, which uh, any instrument that is made from brass, okay, that you produce the sound from the vibration of your lips. And uh, the woodwind family, that is any instrument that uses a reed to produce the sound. And we got over each of those families and all the instruments that uh, belong. There are many, many other instruments, so many that, that uh, we haven't touched on, um, but, there, but those are some of the most common ones that you probably have seen before, but maybe not been able to identify. Now, if you need a little bit more help to help you remember the four orchestral families, this is a little song that I wrote that I use to help teach my students. So come on over to the, the four orchestral families are strings, percussion, brass, and woodwinds. The four orchestral families are strings, percussion, brass, woodwinds. So I'm gonna play this little song, has this little simple groove. The four orchestral families are strings, percussion, brass, woodwinds. The four orchestral families are strings, percussion, brass, woodwinds. The four orchestral families are strings, percussion, brass, woodwinds. The four orchestral families are strings, percussion, brass, woodwinds. Now, then I ask a little question. I say, any instrument that uses a string belongs to the String family, that's right. Any instrument that makes a beat belongs to the percussion family. Very good. Any instrument that made of brass belongs to the brass family, except for the saxophone. And any instrument that uses a reed belongs to the woodwind family. That's right. So we sing it again. The four orchestral families are strings, percussion, brass, woodwinds. The four orchestral families are strings, percussion, brass, woodwinds. The four orchestral family. You say it. Strings, percussion, brass, woodwinds. 
for orchestral families are strings, percussion, brass, woodwinds. Any instrument that uses a string belongs to the. Any instrument that makes a beat belongs to the. Any instrument that made of brass belongs to the. Any instrument that uses a reed belongs to the. Very good. The four orchestral families are strings, percussion, brass, woodwinds. The four orchestral families are strings, percussion, brass, woodwinds. The four orchestral families are strings, percussion, brass, woodwinds. The four orchestral families are strings, percussion, brass, woodwinds. The four orchestral families are. Very good. Y'all got it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Music Class with Mr. Seeley. I appreciate your time. Hopefully you guys remember this lesson about the four orchestral families, which are strings, percussion, brass, woodwinds, and all the instruments that fit into those families. We'll be seeing you guys soon. Take care. Bye, scholars. I will listen to my teachers. I'll do what they say. I'll try to be a leader for today.